Yeah, my name's Kelly Lachlan. I'm a community art worker here in Burnley. I'm involved in a project with the Mechanics at Home and Cinema for All. And we're trying to get a community cinema together here in South West Burnley. Uh, and tonight is our second screening. My name's Sandra Morgoka and I'm the church warden here at St Mark's in Burnley. Tonight we're showing Whistle Down the Wind. Um, there's been an awful lot of um, interest in this, in this film and, um, and an awful lot of feedback from the last film that we showed. So I th everybody's quite excited again that we're having another film this evening. The group that I'm working with thought this would be a good film to show uh, because it was filmed around Burnley um, and it had its northern premiere at the old Odeon Cinema in Burnley in 1962 and lots of local children were involved in the production and two of the uh, original cast who still live in the area are coming tonight as well to do a, a brief introduction to the film and a Q&A afterwards in case anybody wants to talk about their memories of the film. I'm Diane, um, formerly called Holgate, and I was chosen to play Nan in Whistle Down the Wind, directed by Brian Forbes and produced by Richard Attenborough. And the community hall here are showing the film to the local community and they've asked us to come along to support that film showing. My name is Pam, I was originally called Lonsdale, and I was a disciple in the film. The film was actually filmed on the farm that my grandfather and my uncle farmed and I lived on the adjoining farm but went to Downham School which was the nearest junior school to the film being made. Great. Uh, all of us have always said, those that were involved with it for a long time, uh, we've always said it's like being part of a big family. We all get together by the BBC or ourselves, or like tonight I'm here with Pam and it brings us together because we've got a common interest and, and a common affection for the film. It was. A lot of people around Chapman and Downham in that area all remember it being made and do hold it with affection. Okay, my, my name's Emma Booth. Um, I come to this group every Monday afternoon um, with other people that have also had a stroke. Um, and I, I'm interest, or really interested in films. I've got my, I've got my own projector um, and I've got something like 500 films at home. The, the films we've watched so far, they've been incredible. I've, I've felt a, um, a really good energy with them and, 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 and they're great. When I'm out and about on the estate um, doing any outreach work or, or whatever, people are coming up to me and saying, when we're having another film, how much they'd enjoyed the last film and uh, uh, the, the whole atmosphere, everything they all said was wonderful. They can't wait to come back to another film. Well, I, I couldn't believe it that there's as many people as, as came last time in the in the church. I really can't believe it. I, I think there was like 60 different people. So I, I think it's absolutely great to watch, have that many people um, watch the films. I'm Matthew Robinson. I'm the Creative Project Assistant Apprentice at Burnley Mechanics and I'm working on the Mechanics at Home project. Oh, my name is Ben Brown. Uh, I'm here today to help with the community theatre, which is a good, good thing, right? good for the community. It's nice to help out people as well. Uh, fairly interested in how all the setup's going on and the sound producing and the actual projecting side of it. Uh, this morning I enjoyed setting up the equipment. It was nice to learn a new skill. Um, it'd be helpful, well, it's handy to know um, so I could set it up in the future for future events. It's, good, it's nice to have the feeling of giving back to the community that we're in and it's good to see the people coming together to do it. I think community cinema is great, it's a good way of getting new people to meet each other, bringing the community together um, and it's just good for Burnley really because it doesn't really have that many things these days for it going so community events are really important and community cinema helps that. Because Part of, part of this area is, is sort of underprivileged in a way. Um, a lot of people can't really afford to go to the cinema or the nearest cinema is in Burnley. Um, and I think sometimes the older people get, they don't, they don't want to be traveling into, into Burnley um, in the evening. Um, and I, I, I don't think there are many things in this area that people from the community all get, all get together. Uh, and I think having something like this is, is encouraging people to, to start doing things together again. It, it'll be an item for them, and especially summer months, 
when they can go out and about if they are housebound. And there's people to bring them as well. And it's good for them and it's good for us. <laughs> uh, I've, um, the, the other day a, a group of people said that there were eight or nine of them all coming together. They were all meeting up and coming down. I think that, that's really showing that the community's sort of the community spirits pulling together again I think.